following in the wake of the distressed condition of the world with dictators, war, and rumors of war, a ravaging plague has visited the earth. Stand back, please give me some room. Death. The purple death that leaves only a purple spot on the forehead of its victim. Buxby, Buxby, mysterious purple death claims to victory. Hundreds die, Buxby. The world's greatest scientists have assembled to combat this mysterious malady. The crowd outside is demanding news, Professor Gordon. There's nothing new that I can tell them. Yes, sir. It's coming over. They got through. Here, take over. Professor Gordon. Yes, Professor Gordon. They got through to us. Here is news I can tell them. Good. I'll notify the national networks. Citizens of the world, I have just received the first radio message to come through from Professor Zarkoff and my son, Flash Gordon. They have successfully repenetrated the stratosphere in Professor Zarkoff's rocket ship to determine the origin of the electrified dust causing the Purple Death. They report that all is well and that they expect to get results immediately. Flash. What is it, Zarkov? I've sighted a spaceship. It's one of Ming's ships from Mongol. Come here, quick. Dale, take the controls. Here, have a look. It's a Ming ship, all right. It seems to be discharging a sort of dust that becomes invisible as it falls. We must destroy that ship. I'll drop down on it. Zarkov, radio the Earth. theory that this death dust comes from another planet is utterly fantastic. Don't forget, Dr. Froman, Zarkov's knowledge of other planets is based on actual experience. Yes, but another message from them, sir. Listen to this. Just sighted a strange spaceship from another planet, which Zarkov believes has connection with Purple Death. Investigating, Flash Gordon. Only me who think of such a devilish scheme. Get it out slowly. Every particle of Ming's death dust must have a disastrous effect. Hold your course directly over the planet Earth. Ah, a rocket ship. They've discovered the source of the Purple Death. We must destroy them. Shut out the death dust. Try and get above them. It's Zarkov's Earth ship. They're approaching rapidly. Careful, Flash, they're turning for an attack. Throw it in me face. We're in firing position, sir. This will burn them to a cinder. They missed us with the heat ray. But I think you scored a hit. Brace yourselves for another charge. about this. Zarkov, let me have the controls. Well, I thought sure we were crashing. That's what I wanted the enemy to think. Their ray rifle crippled our rocket gun. We must have damaged the ship. They're heading back toward Mongol. Good. And they report to Ming that they knocked down Professor Zarkov's rocket ship. But Ming wants and other ships to scatter that fiendish dust. And there we have no defense against such an attack. Yes, I know. Our only chance is to get to Mongol. Find Prince Baron and solicit his aid. Zakov, radio the Earth. Report what's happened. Tell them what we're going to do. Yes, it's our only chance to save them.
for Arboria, Prince Baron's kingdom. Oh, look, there's Prince Baron's palace. Stand by to land. Right among those trees. Ming's spies might be at the palace. If Ming even suspected that we were in Arboria, he wouldn't hesitate to destroy Prince Baron's entire kingdom. Even at the risk of killing his own daughter. Now Baron's wife. Flash! It's Baron! Flash! Baron, I'm How are you? you? Baron! Oh, oh, oh. Dale! Hello, Baron. Oh, this is a happy day. Glad to see you. It's been a long time. I rushed in the palace as soon as your rocket ship was described. Receiving us with drawn bows. We must always be on guard against some trick of Ming's. Ming. And he is alive. Yes, and rules more ruthlessly than ever. And Dora, is she well? Yes, and very happy. Come on, see for yourselves when she returns from the hunt. Feels great to get in these clothes again, Ronald. Your old sword flash. I've kept it, hoping that someday I'd have a chance to hand it back to you. <laughs> Thank you, Ronald. Great Blade. The banquet's on. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute, Ronald. Tell me, why did Baron go to all the trouble of having a banquet when he knows the necessity of our getting to Ming immediately? The banquet was already arranged in honor of Queen Freya of Phrygia. Phrygia? A frozen kingdom to the north of Mongo. You see, Queen Freya is here to seek Prince Baron's aid on a mission concerning Ming. The Majesty. I'm looking forward to meeting the Earthman, Flesh Gordon. Where is he? Shall we go? Your Majesty will pardon me. A prince of royalty hurries to meet him. Your Majesty, Queen Freya, may I present the Earthman, Flesh Gordon? Your Majesty. Your Raiden Counselor, Count Coro. Well, shall we dine? destroying Professor Zarkov's rocket ship, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. It plunged toward the planet Earth completely out of control. Good. Very good. Then the Earth will still be ignorant as to the source of the Purple Death. That is all. Now, Jander, what brings you up from my laboratories? To ask your permission, sire, to perform a laboratory test upon these selected prisoners. Your Majesty, I demand to know why I and the thousands of others with me are held prisoners in your filthy concentration camps. You plotted with your queen, Freya, to refuse my demands. You meet the same fate as all those who oppose me. And now, Jenda, what manner of test had you in mind that requires the living subjects for experimentation? In your laboratory, sire, I have perfected the death dust. Perfected? It, it is already capable of killing every living creature of depopulating the universe. That's just it, sire. At present, it kills everything, everybody. Yes, go on. Wouldn't it be better, sire, if the Purple Death spared those millions of slaves to labor for you and killed only those with intelligence enough to oppose you? You can name your own reward if you can prove this to me. Tonight, sire, tonight, in the power room, I assure you. I'll be there. You see, my friends, Ming has captured my General Lupi, and I vowed to spare nothing until he's rescued. I have an idea, Your Highness. While Zarkov and I are destroying Ming's power rooms, your men could rescue General Lupi. But if we should fail, and Ming discovers our plot... Why, he would destroy Arborea. 
Even at the risk of killing his own daughter, Aura. To aid you, my friends, Baron and I will take that chance. But you won't have to if we all go dressed as Phrygians. Well, then he would attack Phrygia. No. His soldiers would freeze. Only we Phrygians possess the secret of enduring our country's extreme cold. An important reply from Captain Seward, Your Highness. Captain Sudan is command of Ming's palace guards. However, he is still loyal to me, and I have means of contacting him unknown to me. I will do all in my power to help your cause. General Luffy to be executed with other prisoners tonight. Faithfully, Captain Sudan. We'll make our final plans on the way. Dale, you stay here with Queen Freya. Final. Oh, uh, Flash. Yes? This is Captain Roker. Captain Roker? I'd be pleased if you'd accept him as your aide and companion. One of my ablest officers. Thank you, Baron. I'm sure he is. I welcome this chance to help you. I remember that had it not been for what you accomplished on your first trip here, there would be no free men on Mongo. Ha! I had plenty of help, Roka. And I needed it. Well, I'll delay you no longer. Goodbye and a safe return. Thank you, Baron. Kingdom, we should land near the entrance of the abandoned drain tunnel. Our ship can be well concealed there. I remember the place. When the tunnel gates are opened, you will be able to get through to the power rooms. In the rays of that special test light inside the cabinet, sire, you will be able to see the death dust as it enters the chamber. Prisoners! Follow me to the tunnel entrance. This man of low intellect has the type of mind that is easily controlled by a superior will. And this man has a type of thinking brain that exercises a will of its own. A type we must destroy. Sire! There is no dictator in the universe powerful enough to destroy human thought. Place them in the dust chamber. Carrying out Captain Sudan's instructions, Count Koro and I will leave you here. Permit ourselves to be arrested by Ming's guards. Good luck. Ready, Your Majesty. You see, Your Majesty, the man of simple intellect is sane. A significant demonstration, don't you think, General Lupi? We will see now how well it works on a Phrygian nobleman. Mog, place him in the chamber. Probably some trouble in the prison ward, you sire. No. That alarm meant that someone had been captured. The prisoners were captured, forcing entrance into the palace, sir. They wear the uniforms of Phrygian soldiers. Phrygian soldiers, huh? Send them directly to me for questioning. Delay the demonstration. Come quickly. You may return to your posts. I'll question the prisoners in private. So far, so good, Captain Sudan. Prince Baron got your message. I would do anything for Prince Baron. This is Count Coral of Phrygia. A couple more minutes and I'm going to search for them. The others are at the mouth of the abandoned tunnel. I understand, Captain, that the gates barricading the tunnel are operated from this control room. Brown got the Captain Sudan all right. Go ahead. Now, Captain, how can you aid us in liberating the Phrygian prisoner, General Lupi? Our Imperial Majesty. Two Phrygians, what are they doing here? I have been questioning them, sire. They came at the command of Queen Freya to attempt the rescue of General Lupi. Intelligent-looking specimens. Let us put the intelligence of all three to the test. My death dust will decide whether or not they are to live. 
Take these two prisoners to the pit room at once. Flash! This passage leads to the power room. Kankara! Ronald! At least you're still alive. But not for long, my friends. Hey, Janda, I have brought you some new prisoners to experiment with. Ming's private laboratory. It is. I was right, Flash. The death dust is a development of the thing Ming was working on when I was here before. I must stay here and destroy this equipment. All right. We'll go on to the power rooms. This is the end. I'm sorry I was the cause of your capture and death. Mog, place them in the dust chamber. Did you mean? Broker, disarm them. Throw their guns in that pit. Turan, go ahead. You got here just in time, Flash. Count Coro, you and General Rupi get back to the rocket ship right away. Turan, Turan, keep them covered. Where's the main power switch? Here it is. Chamber. I'll release the death dust and kill them all. Arthur, you, you destroyed my laboratory. Yes, your destruction of our people has gone far enough. Thank <laughs> you.